Okay, so we're here at um, a grill bar. It's called Mashawish, which means grilled stuff in Arabic. Um, this is one of the coolest places in this area. It's, it um, has all different kinds of meat and veggies, grilled veggies. We're going to show you what it looks like on the inside. Come on in. They have grilled veggies over here. Check out those eggplant slices. Unbelievable. And then you have like all the salad stuff in the back. The grilled meat looks incredible. And... Okay, so our food is here. This is one of my favorite meals in town because it's super simple, it's super filling, cheap, but so good. I feel like I should show you, for those of you who don't know, how this is really supposed to be eaten, although there are no rules in food, um, but it really is worth it. So you take a little bit of hummus, um, which is this um, chickpea paste with tahini. And then I'm gonna do it with meat. This meat is so good, you guys. I cannot get over it. Um, a little bit of grilled onion. Yeah, and then my favorite, pickle. Just to add a little bit of flavor. And then you have it in one bite. So if you look around, you'll see that there are tons of bars around here and restaurants. And so what people do is they'll go out on a Friday night or Saturday night and then at 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning when they're just done, they come here and have a delicious meal and it's open until all hours of the night because the city truly never sleeps. Birch, who works here, actually heard me um, describing the place and he invited us to his table to sit with him and his father to try raw meat, which I've never tried before. So we're sitting here at a table with George and his dad, Naveen. Um, it was really nice of you to invite me to sit here and try this raw meat. So I can't remember the name, what's it called? Asbinaye. Asbinaye, asbiani, like what does liver. it mean? Liver, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is raw liver. So take a piece of bread, put the liver on it. And then what do we add? Some salt. Pepper. Mint leaves. Mint leaves. And onion and satin. Oh, okay. Here goes nothing. <laughs> no, did you start the place by yourself? Yes. Wow. It takes a lot of guts, by the way. Yeah, I know. That was <laughs> around two o'clock in the morning. This place is packed. I mean, you can't even. I mean, you can't even imagine. You could probably wait for 20, 30 minutes to get a sandwich here at night. That's how many people are here. I'm gonna try this. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. George just prepared what apparently is one of the best-selling dishes in his restaurant which is lamb testicles. Um, I definitely consider myself to be a pretty adventurous person, but this might be... Okay, oh my god, I think he's making me one, and I think I have to, uh, I have to eat it. So you're putting mint in it? Yeah, mint, and you have and to put it in the sauce. sauce. But what kind of sauce is it? It's, it's a lemon a butter sauce. Okay. Okay, but I just want to say one thing first. Buzz, I want to say one thing first, okay. okay? Because here's, okay, I'm about to eat lamb testicles, and here's why. I am always telling people in my life to be open-minded and to hear people out and to try new things, and so I'm about to put my money where my mouth is, and I'm gonna try this, and uh, here goes nothing. Okay. Oh my god, I just can't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would be good if I didn't know what it was, but... Okay, I did it. I'm never gonna do it again, but I tried... I tried lamb testicles tonight. I think this is uh, a... <laughs> I think this is a really good uh, good place to end. So we're gonna have more of these conversations. Um, follow me along, and um, I think I think it's gonna be really cool. 